to this HDFS. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, let me take five nodes again. So only one copy of HDFS will be available in all the nodes. It is master slave architecture. We have five team five. Yes, team member one, team member two, team three, team member four, and team member five. And team leader, let us say, work one has come. Now team, what the team leader will do? Team leader will divide that work one among five people. Okay, and at the same time, whether this uh, team member is doing the uh, care, doing the task or not. Team leader has to monitor. Team leader. Team leader. And what is the work assigned to them? And what is that I am expecting? Everything that should be maintained by the team leader. Okay. How many works team are there leader. here? It's only work. only one work that has been one divided work. into five parts. So can I call this hmm. person as master? And can I call this person as workers? Exactly the same. The same. You know, architecture or scenario will be used by the HDFS. That's it. Very simple. That is called as master slave architecture. That master process is called as name node. Is called as name node. That master is called as name node. And these slaves, these team members will be called as what? You know, they are called as data nodes. Data node. And data node. Data node and data node. That's it. Very simple. Okay only one team there's nothing but only one instance of hdfs got it now yeah one instance of hdfs will contain one master and how many slaves how many slaves number of multiples we can say simply multiple it can be two or three or four depends the depending upon the requirement there can be multiple slaves that's it very simple so this is called as master slave architecture. What is the master process name called as name node and slave process name, name node. called as data nodes. That's it. Very simple. I say I install name node here. I and I install data nodes in all the four missions. For the missions. Now this node will be called as master node. Master. Why I'm calling it as master node is master process is running in that node. And these nodes are called as slave nodes. Why? Because slave process are running in these nodes. That's it. Okay, now, now if the size of uh, yeah. each, if the size of each node is one TB, let us say now one TB, one TB, one TB, and one TB. Now we have the data of size some three TB data is there. Three TB data is there. Let's say other. Let us take two TB of data. Two TB of data is there. How to do, you know, now I will try to load the data into this HDFS. To whom I will give the request now? Master node. Name node. Name node, exactly. Okay. We need, master. We need to uh, request master that I am trying to load 2 TB of data into you. So that name node will try to divide it into how many parts? How many parts? Two parts. 2 TB is there. 1 TB, 1 TB. It need not two be part. exactly two parts. Yes automatic data division will be done by HDFS. Mm, so we have been talking about HDFS and uh, yarn here. So in HDFS, the master process, we are calling it as what? Name node. And uh, this process, slave process, we are calling it as data node. Data. So HDFS is confined for only storage only for storage so what is being used disk is used for storage purpose the yeah. data will be stored into the disk yes. now if you want to process the data then what how to, which space will be used disk space or memory space the data has to be loaded into where from disk to ram ram exactly okay the data must be loaded from disk to ram so I give very simple scenario. Now this is the name node running in this node and data node, data node, data node and data node. Totally five data nodes. So let's say we have loaded some uh, one two TB of data into this uh, HDFS. So every node is going to get half TB, half TB, half TB of data. This is fine. 
it is the data is stored into the disk now if you want to process the data then what has to be done this half tb of data must be loaded from disk to memory let me call this as memory so this half tb of data must be loaded from disk to memory who is going to do that processing okay again there is one more process like data node data node if what is the data node data node is a process which will maintain the information of the data present in the disk in hdfs that is the data node and there must be someone to process this data so who is going to involve in the processing of the data okay there comes the services of vira is yes, yarn okay so data node ikkada okay. vachesi we call it as nm nm is called as node manager that is node okay. manager and one more is called as resource manager rm and node manager node manager node manager and node manager can you say now so this resource manager is acting as a master process of what master process of yarn and node manager are acting as the slave process of what yarn yarn got so resource manager and node managers they are going to involve in the processing of data and name node and date nodes are going to involving in the storage of data that is the difference between them yeah. okay yarn for storage so during the processing ram will be used and during the storage disk will be used yes. that's very really simple so let me finalize this to hdfs and uh, yarn mm, let me write like this. so hdfs for storage and the yarn for processing and what is the master process called as master name node and what is the slave process called as hdfs data node let me write full names here sorry name node and this would be data node let me call as slaves Mm, and here the master what is the man, name of this master this is resource manager resource manager resource manager rm and the slaves will be node managers node managers nm that's it very simple so even this follows master slave architecture and yarn is also for yarn also follows is also developed master slave master slave architecture that's it very simple and how many copies of hdfs will be maintained only one instance one instance of hdfs and one instance of yarn in one hadoop cluster in one hadoop cluster mm. we'll have one instance of hdfs one instance of yarn that's it clear right okay thank you